Healthy in, healthy out. I just want to apologize for the inconvenience on part one, how it just cut out like that. But unfortunately, when you have children, they fill up your memory on your phone. So I deleted a little bit, and now I'm back here with part two to finish the worm transfer. Um, <clears throat> I got very excited because as I emptied that first bin, this is the very bottom, and there is plenty, plenty cocoons in here. All different sizes, colors. Um, they are really loving this cow poop. I have so many, which is wonderful. Look, here's another one. Here's another one. We're just a bunch over here. There's like three or four. And um, we're just going to have a whole bunch of baby wigglers coming. If you look over here. This is a huge one. Look at the size of that. That's probably one of the biggest eggs I've ever seen before. Almost the size of my finger tip. All right, well, this is what I'm going to use to put back on top so my chickens don't get a hold of it. So I'm not going to worry too much about getting everything off. I actually want to put it to the side so I don't lose anything. I'm gonna spread this out with my hands a little bit so you guys can get, look at this tiny worm. All of this is the very bottom of bin one and it has a lot of cow manure in here as well. The castings are great. Look at this, when we break it down and spread it out, there are lots of worms here. They're gonna, more cocoons here, here. They are really, going to love their new habitat and we are also going to give them a feeding today now this is um let me see what i have written on here this is bin number two this is the one that's mostly cardboard they're feeding and coffee grinds it's a little bit heavy me so I'm glad we're emptying it into this big old tub so I don't have to move it too much anymore. Oh, it's stuck in here. Wow the castings are so good. Take a look at this. The castings are so look at the size of this. This is a night crawler. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out because I don't want him in this bin. Castings here are so good and rich. I have more sprouts. I have worms of all sizes, ages, shapes. I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this out. It's so tight on the bottom, so moist. Oh, this is where all the worms are, guys. Sorry, I'm having, I even got one on my wrist. I have so many in here, and it's so much castings. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and empty it upside down again, carefully, because I don't wanna lose anything. All right, so, so you see. So you can see, this was bin number two. This is very, very moist soil. Uh, here is a corn that they have started to shred into pieces. Looks like, oh, this worm is still with me, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go back home. All right, everybody. Oh, I see some more cocoon. Look at this right here. I've never seen something that looks like this. If anybody knows what that is, please let me know. Shout out to the crazy worm lady, Emily. Grant, anybody know what this is on top of that worm? Please let me know. I see some cocoons. I know it's at least, I feel bad for bothering them. Are they mating? Dropping babies? What's going on? There's at least two of them here twisted together. So it looks a little funny. I've never seen that. And everybody, this is it. This was the big worm transfer. Um, 
There's plenty, plenty stuff here. This is another piece of corn. Plenty worms in here. I'm going to go ahead and spread everything out. Put their food back underneath so they have a good time. And I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. I want to test covering them up and see if I need anything else. And then I'm actually going to let them get a little bit settled. And I'm going to give them their feeding tomorrow. So we'll have a new video for you guys with their new feeding in their first new place. All right, everybody. Well, it looks like I need to go cut a couple more sheets to put across the top so my chickens do not get a hold of my new worming part. So that'll be all for right now. Good evening to everybody, to all a good night. Thank you to everybody who's watching and who loves worms. Check us out, thanks.